Hello. So now I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, branching and merging in Git. I'm using the, the information that is on this online book. So I'm going to use uh, two sections of this book. So this book is uh, really good and you can uh, assess it and uh, read what, what, whatever you want to learn about Git. But now what is relevant is to learn about uh, branch and merging. Okay. So let's uh, just discuss a little bit why merging is uh, or branching is relevant. Basically, the, the, the idea when you use Git is that you associate a branch to each task. So why? What is a branch? A branch is a code line. So a branch is a line of code. We, let's call it a line of code where you can have several commits that you control and that are associated with a single task. So the goal here is that you can basically work on this branch when you are working in that task. And you can then move when you stop working with that task to another branch and work in another branch. The idea is that in the branch are all the chains in the code associated with this task, which is quite relevant if uh, afterwards, for instance, you want to decide to roll back from that task. We'll learn more about that and the importance of, that, of having a, a branch or a code line per task. But uh, now it's more to focus on the technology and explain you what is actually a branch and then the merge. Okay, so let's use this to explain it quite uh, to explain it. So let's let's start. So you, you, you by reading this you can see this command. So basically what you have I told you already for instance here you have git and let's just enlarge this so you can have a better picture of it. Okay. Um, better view of it. So you, you, you just can add files to, to, to Git and then you commit and by doing this basically you create what is represented here. You, you, you create a, a commit that has a unique, uh, um, a, a unique hash code. Okay? And then you can have a story of commits because as you keep changing your code you get a, a story of commits. This usually happens so look at this picture. This usually happens, this story of commits happens in a, a specific branch called ma uh, master. So it's by default the, the, the one when you, when, when, you ch when you create your repository, there's, there's the master. The add pointer, so master has actually a pointer to a commit, okay? In the, in the sequence of commits that we have done in this code line, okay? And the add is actually a pointer to the place where you are changing the code now. So when you are changing your code, you are changing the code where this pointer points to. In this case, points to master. Okay? So when you create a new branch, the idea is that you just, if you are in this branch master and you create a new branch like git branch testing, you just create a new pointer to the same commit. Okay? But you if you keep, if you do changes, you keep cha doing the changes in the master. Why? Because the add is there. Okay. Now, if you want to start working on the new branch, the testing, you need to do a checkout. You need to check out testing, and you can do just the switch branch. You do git checkout testing, and your pointer is there. Okay. Now, suppose that you are working on the task testing. So, what you're going to do? Basically, you change code. So, for example, you change a file, you commit this file, and then you create a commit that belongs to this branch and does not belong to the master branch. Okay? And then, if you want to wor work on master, not in test anymore, it's quite easy. You just check out master and you move the add from the testing to the, to the master. And now, if you work on master, so you do, if you do commits there, the, the code line is going to diverge. And what is going to happen here when you just commit is going to create two... Uh, uh, you're going to have two commits that have a, a parent but are not in, in the same line. Okay? So in this point you have code that uh, basically diverge. Okay? So now how do I 
converge the code. You can just keep diverging, but it's not a good policy when you develop uh, software with, with versioning. It's really important that, okay, it's nice to diverge, basic to have some type of isolation when you develop the code, but after a while, or very frequently, which is continuous in called in continuous integration, you should try to get the most recent code from your colleagues. So you, you, you should try to merge the code. So what I'm going to show you, how to merge the code, okay? It's quite easy. So I have the similar situation here, as you see. And now there are two things that, the first thing that may happen, suppose that you create a branch, you move to this branch, is are not fixed from master. You have here a div the code diverged here, okay? Then look, I have three branches here, master, hotfix, and issue 53. If I want to merge master with hotfix, it's quite trivial. This is called fast forward, because basically, look, there's no big div divergence between C2 and C4. It's just basically C4 is C2 plus some commit. So what I'm going to do is just move this pointer there. And so when I do git checkout master, so I mean hotfix, in I, and I do git checkout master, I move here, okay, my add moves here, and when I do git merge hotfix, I move the pointer there. And then I have something like this, okay? Quite easy. Now, suppose comes the part interesting. Suppose that now I want to, I finish this task. Oh, uh, it's not yet the case. Now I want to work more on this. So what I'm going to do here, if I do, I continue working here being the, so I check out this. And if I continue working here, I create more commits in this, in this line. So what you have is something like this, okay? Good. So this is starting diverging and diverging, but in some point you finish this task. When you finish this task, what you need to do is just to put your merge the code you have here with that code. So it's quite easy. What you're going to do, you're going to identify that you have a common ancestor. So it's necessary to merge to have a common ancestor. And what Git is going to do is going to try to see if there are any conflicts between the changes that in files that were in the common ancestor and were changed in both lines. If, they, if there's a file here that was changed in both lines, you'll get a, a conflict and then you need to solve the conflict, okay? If th that's not the case, it just integrates the, 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 the files because they do not conflict and you get a new, uh, a, a, a new commit. So I'm gonna show you. So you do git checkout master, okay? So you, you, you are in this point and then you do git merge this issue. And then you create a new commit. Why it's new? Because actually integrates code is not just a, a, a fast forward like in this case. It integrates, so it has a new hash code and you get something like this. So this is basically the way you are going to work at the level of with your colleague, okay, at the level of two students, okay? Then I will tell you all the work we, at the integration of the different uh, subgroups of a group. Okay, see you in a while.